Hi, today we're going to talk about payment options, uh, PayPal versus Stripe. So we started off thinking PayPal was a good option for our SaaS application. Yeah, so we looked into it and we got a little bit further down the track and realised that in fact PayPal doesn't offer an easy way for our users to subscribe by entering their credit card details and then just going for it and forgetting about it. It was more sort of go take, off to their yeah. site and then come back and get Yeah, lost. that's right. So we did a little bit of research and we found a product called Stripe. And Stripe is really good. It's just like so easy to integrate. Their APIs, you know, it's designed by developers for developers and it has a great back end so it's really easy to manage your clients. So some of the benefits of Stripe is that it's very easy to use, particularly for developers, like to integrate the API into the application. As, you know, it's written by developers who understand how you need to write that sort of a process. Yeah, and it's really easy to manage for people who are not developers. Um, so when I say that, I mean there's a live site and you can have a test site as well. So if I want to test how a payment's going to go through and what it's going to look like, I can do that on my test site and then leave the live for all of my subscribers. Um, refunds are really easy as well. So we had a case where someone, we may have overcharged them, something happened anyway. All they had to do was click a button in Stripe and they were refunded within a couple of days, straight back to their credit card. Yeah. Easy as. Nothing like easiness. Yeah, that's right. A couple of things you need to be careful of is just how you integrate it. Because it's really easy to over integrate and, and end up with too much data going into Stripe. You want to ensure that your database is the source of authority. Yeah, totally. Definitely. Like you said earlier, if Stripe was to go down, you want to make sure that yeah. you've got all of your information in your SaaS application rather than having it all in Stripe because it makes you reliant on Stripe for those um, subscribers and everything. So keep your, your info your own. Yeah. And there are lots of different edge cases, whether you have internal clients or tests, you know, trials that you might not want in Stripe. Um, other scenarios are where you might be billing people different amounts and that sort of thing. You don't really want to create a plan for every single type of person. Yeah. So yeah, a few things to think about there. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, we found Stripe really good. Yeah. And I mean, PayPal might be right for you. Everyone is different. It depends on your application. It depends on what you want to use it for. Um, but do your research, it's definitely key, we found, so yeah. Stripe is good. Yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah. And like and subscribe down below. Whoops. <laughs>